You see, Brilliant Family Dog gives you a structured course that takes you step by careful step to a dog you can be proud of. So here's an example of using choice training to change an everyday annoyance many people suffer. Does opening the door in your house cause a stampede as your dog rushes to the door, almost taking the legs out from under you and crushing any unfortunate person waiting the other side? So here's what we're learning today, waiting at the door, the door game. You got an inkling of this in your lesson this morning. Now you can see the whole sequence happening in real time and I'll show you how I teach it. So I'm just going to have to move things around a little. Remove cat, off you go. And um, I'm going to just move that and move that and turn this. So I hope there's Coco waiting you'll be able to see the door. Now this is a door which actually is never closed so it's all a bit weird to them but I should be able to show you uh, with a couple of them what we do. Get some cheese. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I shouldn't have to say anything to you. Good girl, Lacey. Nice. Coco? Good. Nice. Good. Poodle, what should you be doing? That's it. Very nice. Um, if you've already got a sit, then that's you may use that, but you probably don't have to. Good, because your dogs are often aware that if nothing else is happening, a sit is a good idea. So he sat, so yeah, good. Uh, quickly, you just stay there on the bed. Yes. So once I'm getting him sitting whenever I touch the door handle, yes, um, this may take you five minutes, five days, five weeks, it doesn't matter. He's ready sitting because he knows this is what we're doing. Yes. Now I can start to open the door with a crack, shut it, reward. Open the door with a crack. Shut it. Reward. If he tries to race the door, it's just going to be shut. Don't have to say anything. Don't have to say a word. Just shut it. Good boy. So eventually you'll gradually open the door more and more until he knows to wait. Um, until you say, wait. Good boy. So, um... Just reward this, this gang for waiting. Those of you who have two dogs to work, um, I don't think you can see, I don't, you can see Lacey's right over here in the dark. Good girl. Cricket is on the bed, which is just here. I think you can just see her. Rollo is happy to stay outside with a heap of teddy bears. And Coco, that's yours. Okay, break. You can break, Lulu. That's it. So we'll come back here. I hope you were able to see that okay. So um, I just 
find where we were. Now, these are experienced dogs. Please don't expect this to happen in one session and then get frustrated. You may need several or many sessions to get it right, but some puppies especially can learn this very, very quickly. If your dog has an entrenched behaviour of door barging, it may take a bit longer, but you'll get there. Um, and think how you can use this for all sorts of places. The car, that's one thing you can do. My dogs never get out of the car when I open the, the, the crates until I break them. They, you don't want to let them out until you know exactly what's going on, or you may want to put a lead on them first. Um, but they, they know to wait, so it works for any sort of door. You noticed, I'm sure, that I didn't tell the dogs to do anything. I waited for them to choose. I asked them sometimes to prompt them. I, I did say to Coco, what should you be doing? And he said, oh yeah, I should be sitting. But I don't tell them. This is a two-way street. And if there's a good reason for them doing something different, uh, say we were outside and the ground is soaking wet and muddy and it's unpleasant to sit, or if they're Cricket the Whippet who simply finds sitting uncomfortable altogether because of her hound makeup, then that's okay by me. As long as they wait patiently and don't rush the door, that's the outcome I want. You have to keep your eyes on the prize and not get caught up in nonsensical detail. Now, once you know this, do you begin to see where else choice training can affect your daily life with your dog? Can you think of things that annoy you right now, which you'll be able to remove from your life quickly, painlessly, in fact, enjoyably? It's limitless.